first thing in the morning. Then, can't ever forget. Safety, safety, safety. Got to be safe when working with equipment. Especially if you have high pain adjustments, OSHA will get you. Yeah, the fun things we do during Corona. Interesting. Where did rice come from? That's weird. Numbers. Green. There's some stuff. Well, mm. it'll be okay. No, I don't really have to talk. You do. Oh, right. Well, let me check the interwebs. Let me see what I can see. Oh, no. We're going to have a conversation tonight. Because, you know, we're not young chickens anymore. We're getting kind of up there in age. And since this whole corona thing has been going on, uh, I started watching a lot of YouTube videos and a couple of the channels that we're watching started, you know, telling us about some stories going on about their truck. And I was kind of concerned because, you know, Daddy and I are, are we bought an RV and we're going to be towing some heavy loads and, and we need to know if we can do what we're asking you to do. And, and so, you know, we need to know, and I need to know from you, girl, are you able to do what we need you to do? You know, can you actually tow what we need you to tow, you know? I mean, I know you're a dually, and, and, and they say duallys can tow, you know, tow pretty much anything and everything, but I need to hear it from you, girl. Can, can you do it? I, 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 I love you, girl. I'm not trying to put you down or anything, but, and you're really beautiful, and, and you're fun to drive, but can you? Oh. Gonna be okay. Really? It's gonna be okay. You keep her? We get to keep her. Another truck? It worked. Yay! Awesome. awesome! I knew you could do it, girl. I knew you got it. I knew you did it. Full, full detail for you, girl. Man, you paid three. Woo! That was so special. Yes, so it was. So awesome. <laughs> Cue the big old tire. Ow! <laughs> Oh, okay. So, uh, let's catch gears up. As you guys can see by the nice little handy dandy thing we did with our truck, yep. which we have named Bertha. Why? Because she's got hips. She's big. But, mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to take you on our little journey through life today as we talk about everything. Let's go back in time. Uh, before my last appointment that I was just going where you guys used to see me on the split screen thing before we got back, right? Um, <laughs> we were, we wanted to make this leap into getting an RV. Finally convinced my wife that when we talked about moving to a trailer, it was an eight mile trailer park. It was RV trailer park. And she got on board and was like, all right, cool. Let's go get, let's go look at trucks. And we found a truck that was awesome. But like most people, I saw a Ford F-350, knew that they can haul all kinds of stuff. And it's like, yes, we're good. And then they said that they were gonna give us the fifth wheel hitch. And the fifth wheel hitch was rated for 27,000 pounds. Like, I'm in there, we're good. <laughs> Little did I know, there was a whole lot more that needed to be researched. So, um, Brings us up to speed where we got back here. Uh, come back home, we start talking about the truck and sort of looking at the RV we're gonna get to and... And then recently with COVID, we've been sitting at home watching some uh, RV videos, uh, some of the channels which we'll have listed in uh, the description bar below, but uh, one of the channels that we follow started having truck issues and they found out um, in regards to the truck that even though it was a dually, that in the age of the truck, it was not rated to tow the RV that they have. And it started getting us concerned because we have an older truck. Um, and yes, even though it's a dually, a lot of um, salespeople don't know all that information about trucks because they don't live the RV, they don't live the RV lifestyle, so they don't really know much about the vehicle. And case in point, um, the dealer that sold us the truck told us something about our truck that wasn't true about our truck. And we found out recently that it has stuff on it that they we didn't even know. They didn't know. So um, amazing what happens when you read the instructions. Yeah. So we started being concerned that will our truck that we just purchased and put down a lot of money on will it be able to tow the RV that we purchased? So uh, with all that, um, 
I set to do my little research thing we do whenever it comes to stuff like technical and mechanical and stuff like that. It's kind of one of the things that I enjoy working with my hands, so I still have to do some work and research. There was three main videos that we looked at that uh, really helped us out that uh, we'll link down in the descriptions, all stuff like that. Uh, one of them in particular kind of showed me how to step through the math, and I want to say thank you, Chad, you did awesome with that, um, only because of the fact that there's not a lot out there. Now, I also went back through and started reading other research pages just because even even like these videos tell you, don't just take their word for it, do the research and know your own. So I started looking out there um, and there's a lot of things that can mess you up. Heck, even this morning, and this will probably be a video I do later on, I'm learning about tires and I'm learning more and more about what those do and how that plays into your truck and all stuff, but that's a whole nother video, so we'll get that in later. But as I start looking at all the different things, you start talking about the age of your vehicle and the ratings and all the stuff like that, we walk through. Now, I'm gonna, we're putting a link down to a specific video, which we'll put little stars by that we recommend you watch first and foremost because old boy explains it a whole lot better than I could. But the bottom line was we got lucky. We found out by the grace of God, actually with our truck, we could actually haul a lot more than we could find. We got lucky though. Um, because we didn't plan for that. We were actually starting to look at, okay, do we need to go look at another new truck? Do we need to do this? When we started this thing, we had two different types of RVs that we were originally going to purchase. And so we had this whole idea of what the weight was going to be and what we were expected to be towing. But when we actually went out and purchased the RV, it was a completely different RV in its entitled. Just the whole weight is different. So we didn't know what we didn't know. And we ended up, um, um, your RV, your truck, just to verify, this is just a safety, just to, you know, wake you guys up to verify, especially if you have time now that with the COVID thing, you're at home, take the time to look at your vehicles, your RVs, and just to double check to make sure weight wise you're safe. A lot of RV, uh, people are gonna start going back into full swing of RV season. And people are gonna be um, selling their current RVs, they're gonna be purchasing RVs that maybe have never done this before, like we are newbies. And maybe have trucks, maybe are gonna be looking into trucks and don't know what they don't know like we didn't. And the thing will be just again, check your numbers, don't rely on the dealer to do it for you because they just, um, they don't know. You can ask them time and time again, what all has different things. I had our salesman told us that my truck would be able to haul 27,000 pound trailers behind me. I can tell you after doing the math, no, it won't. Mm -hmm. That would totally mess it up. Uh, again, we're gonna link to a video down below of the channel that was helping us out. In fact, we'll just take this time right now to thank a few of the different channels that helped us out. So um, first and foremost, there's a video that uh, Chad, um, and, um, Chad and Tara put out from Changing Lanes. Sorry, small old man moment there. Mm -hmm. uh, that really explains how to figure out what your truck can and can't tow. Uh, and Chad even talks to the fact that he was looking at getting a truck that they really liked, but they found out it could not haul their trailer, so they had to go with a different truck. Um, you know, with the uh, with everybody over with um, dang uh, enjoy the journey dot life. Yeah. Uh, they are the ones who actually had the video where they found out their truck they were starting to have problems, and they found out. Hey, we got like a new truck. And they've actually got like three or four videos in the series. We're still waiting to see which one they bought. We're, yeah, we're, we're waiting to find out, out which truck tomorrow, they're going to get. Think. I think so. so. So we're excited to see that um, because they started having issues and they found out from not only uh, Chad and uh, from Changing Lanes, but also from Big Truck Big RV uh, that they, mm -hmm. it was not only just the weight issue, but it was the age. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Younger. But it wouldn't have, wouldn't have had a problem. Truck, newer yeah. truck, uh, a couple years younger, they wouldn't have had a problem. But because of the age of their truck, even being a dually. It, um, it, it just depends on where you're at. Cause you gotta remember the trailers have changed these days. There's a difference between a fifth wheel and a bumper hitch and stuff like that. Um, we, they had, uh, like you said, big truck, big RV. Uh, also the only two channels I've seen that do anything talking about what you can and can't do, what you need to look for was big truck, big RV and changing lanes. lanes. Changing lanes with Chad is the only video I've seen where it actually breaks down what to look for, where to find it, and put it in your box. Board. Yes, I, I, he does that too. I I do. I'm a visual and I'm a big visual uh, teacher, so mm -hmm. I, I believe in kinesthetic learning. So showing you, not just talking about it. But again, um, this is all about just double checking for yourself. Um, we again, we're not mechanics, we're not professionals. Hey, we haven't even got our RV yet, so but we did kind of get a wake up call in regards to our truck and the realism that um, getting on the road can be very dangerous. We watched some uh, some videos that had trucks pulling overweight RVs on trucks that were not rated to pull it and big accidents on the highway. As we always say, you know, God is great and he's been looking out for us, so please look towards God, love Jesus, love one another, and ultimately, as we say with everything, you know,
just live life's journey. Get out and do it. It's fun. We want to make sure that everybody, when they get on the road, that everybody's safe. Um, we've seen a number of accidents already. Um, I live, we live in the desert, so we have RVs going through here like crazy. Um, right now, everybody's on standstill waiting to get out of the COVID lockdown. But um, once that happens, uh, we know RVs are going to be on the road, hitting the road uh, to start traveling again. And we just want to make sure that everybody is aware and paying attention and being safe. So, you guys. COVID. <laughs> You guys, uh, no, we're not making fun of it. Um, we do know it's a very serious thing. It's just you gotta have laughter in the mix. You gotta, well, you gotta have laughter in the mix. And he's a goofball. I am. And I'm gonna make fun of all kinds of stuff oh, just yeah. to make you laugh. But most of all, you guys take care of each other. Love one another. Make, take this time and you're gonna be locked down with your family. Have fun with it. But you guys take care of each other. Make wonderful memories. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. She choked me. Sorry.